Hi, my name is Beth Hadley here for Board Game Geek. I'm sitting here with Nikki Pontius from Hachette, and you've brought us another Jigamic game, which is Pika Mouse. Pika Mouse! Yes, it's very cute. This is actually a sleeve, box sleeve because the game actually uses the box. So, ah. yeah, so that's already different and wonderful. Uh, yes. I'll move that. <laughs> Here's the box. It's not very exciting from the top. Uh, I will show you, though, what's going on inside. Ta-da! Oh, cute. The idea is that mice have moved into your attic and are making a home. They have stolen various items from around your house. Well, they've borrowed them uh, to decorate their house. So we've kind of got a, tu a used tuna can here is a nice um, bathtub and- And puzzle got... pieces is the tile, which is awesome. <laughs> exactly. So we've got, you know, there's some stuff they borrowed to decorate their home. Uh, you, being a curious person, want to know where these items have gone to and want to have a look inside their house. So the mice go out for the day and you take the opportunity to peek inside their house. <laughs> so what we've got here is the box. Um, this is actually standing up and put together. And Maybe you could kind of tip that 90 degrees up towards the camera so people can see that there is, yeah, there we go. There's so, walls. There's, mm-hmm. Do, do, do. And there's a table right here that's holding on pretty good uh, to the giant moving the house around. <laughs> um, the edges of the box are going to show you how you line up the top lid. So you can see there's a ladder right here and there's a vine right here. So there's actually a way you put the lid on where it will line up vine, vine to vine, uh, and, vine, to vine. La and ladder to ladder. And you can see when you've got it put together that there are windows all the way around this house. So that's how you're <laughs> going to peek inside. So you put the lid on and the game can vary in difficulty. Uh, there are a couple ways you can do that. You can put in these items with the green ring around them and only those items with the green ring around them. And that makes it kind of an easier game. Uh, after we do what we're going to do with this, you're going to, the game's going to ask you questions. And the way the game asks you questions is with these boards right here. And these also change the difficulty of the game on how specific the game asks the questions. So right now I'm showing the easy one. But there's, they're all double-sided, so there's four levels of difficulty that the game can ask you questions. And I'm going to play it on the easy version because... <laughs> uh, also, if you want to increase the difficulty, there are more of these wood discs that you can use. And to go even further, the questions, if you want to get crazy, uh, might ask you where the die is and what number the die happens to be on. Ooh. So that's why there's double sides because this ah. would be just a coin or is it a one coin? This is just a stamp, but is it a green stamp or a red stamp? Red stamp. So that is one way that the, um, another way the game can uh, make the difficulty crazy. So uh, at the start, you're going to take the wood tokens, put them down the hole <laughs> in the roof, just like that. Then each player is going to get to move the box around. You don't want to shake it up and down. You just kind of want get, to get those distributed around into all the rooms. And each player gets to do that. Then we have this handy dandy light. 
This light <laughs> is 30 seconds. So when I push this bottom on the top, uh, <laughs> this button on the top, <laughs> I place it in the hole at the roof. It's going to turn on for 30 seconds. Everybody gets to look, peek inside the windows. Uh, the one rule is you cannot move the box because you don't want the pieces shifting for people. But since I can't get up and walk around the table, I will probably peek uh, and turn it so I can see. Now, I tried this out last night and I spent the entire tile, entire 30 seconds looking in two windows and that's it. And oh. so, cause I was like, what, what is that shape? I can't tell. So it's kind of, it's interesting. Um, so I'm going to do this really quick and the lights going, I don't know if it shows in any, no, it's too dark. So I'm going to, if you hold it up, yeah, in front of your face. And if we switch to your face camera, we might be able to get a little idea of sort of, yeah, the, the peak action. There we go. <laughs> so I'm peeking. You can see my eye almost through it. <laughs> I'm not really doing such a good job. Um, okay. So there's something in there and, Ooh. I'm going to be so bad at this. So then when the 30 seconds are up, the light automatically turns off. And then we take these different tokens. You can see these tokens have each room of the house on them. And then we'll turn them over and they just show the house. And anywhere on our question board where you see a house, you are going to put one of these tokens there and there and then we also have cardboard tokens which those are too but cardboard tokens that show all of the stuff that was on the wooden tokens and um, oops we're not playing with the red and the orange we're just playing green Doot. I will randomly place them here on the board everywhere I see a little basket. And this is how the game asks you the questions. Oops, I missed a basket. Oh, on your little lower left of your board, I believe. There we go. Basket, basket, basket. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn this over. And the first question is, uh, what room, room did I see was a ring in? Was there a ring in the kitchen, in the bedroom? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to talk amongst themselves. This is a co-op. And um, they are going to vo vote, essentially, that let, I'll just say, I saw, I saw it in the bedroom. Then the next question on this particular board is the kitchen. Uh, let me double check that question. Oops. Do, 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 do. I did that wrong. Okay, this one's asking specifically, were these player pieces in the kitchen? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> so I will put an X down because I don't think that those player pieces were in the kitchen. And then this is going to be a question of was uh, the objects, were these two objects in the same room? And I believe I, that they were. So we would all talk and vote. And then this last one is what, if anything, was in uh, the room with the rug. I think that's like the family room where the fireplace was. And the for the heck room. of it, yeah. let's just say I saw buttons there and I saw the Lego pieces there. And I don't think anything else was in that room. Then we take the lid off and we check our answers. Oh, I'm interested what happens when you've got the piece straddling in a doorway like that. <laughs> they actually have a rule for that one because this is a children's game. It's friendly, so it is considered in either room. So let's see the candy. Was the candy and the buttons in the same room? They weren't because I wasn't really paying attention. And, 
and let's see if let's say I got some stuff right so let's say that the buttons were in the kit the candy and the buttons were in the kitchen that will get me a point so we will move this little cute basket token one space forward and for everything that we get correct we will get one point for it and then um, the mice move to spot number two you have four turns before the mice come home to get as much <laughs> points as you can uh, then we would reset and do the second round and that I've, is the game <laughs> what is the uh, target age this is for per, uh, five yeah it was for five to nine and it's about 20 minutes and it can play uh, two to six players I think I, I, you know, I've, I've seen some other games that's kind of have that little peak mechanic, but not one that's, that's, that's cooperative like that, particularly one that's designed for kids. So that's, yeah. that was a real a, a, a joy for me to watch as well. That was one I hadn't had the chance to research ahead of time before right. this video. So, um, Nikki, thank you so much for giving us a quick tour of the mouse's house, little mouse real estate here on, uh, on BGG for Spiel Digital. <laughs> and we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> 